a set of front wheels, a rear wheel, a frame, seat, boom and crank, and a flag. Next we'll go over the contents of the small parts box. You should have a derailleur hanger, a tie rod, tie rod bolts, spacers, and washers, your steering knuckle assembly bolts, washers, and bushings, a quick release skewer for the rear wheel, a rear mudguard, and an eight speed chain. A crescent wrench, screwdriver, and tape measure will be very helpful in assembly. First, mount the trike in an assembly stand. We'll be using the KMX stand, which is not included in the kit. Next, we'll be installing the front wheel assemblies. To install the front wheel assemblies, you'll need the two M10 bolts, four bushings, four washers, and two M10 nuts, as well as two plugs. Grab one of your steering assemblies and install two of the bushings. There will be one bushing for the top and one for the bottom on each steering knuckle. Next, you'll need your M10 bolt with a washer. The bushings don't have an extremely tight fit, so you may need to hold it in place. First, slip the knuckle over the steer tube and insert the M10 bolt and washer. Next, take your M10 nut and washer and install them on the bottom side of the M10 bolt. You'll just repeat the process for the opposite side wheel assembly. Go ahead and secure the M10 bolt with a 6mm hex wrench and a crescent wrench. Next install the black plugs to keep out weather and dirt. Next we're going to install the tie rod. You'll have two large spacers, two bolts, two thin washers, two thick washers, two black bump stops, and two nuts. First install a thin washer on the bolt, then send the bolt through the tie rod end. Next you'll install the thick spacer. Then install the bolt into the steering knuckle. You'll then install the black bump stop. The thick metal washer. And then the nut. All of the chain tubes should run on the underside of the tie rod. Installing the other end of the tie rod is the same as the opposite side. Be careful not to over tighten the bolt as you can crack the bump stop. Next we're going to be installing the rear derailleur hanger. This will require the Phillips blade screwdriver.
Next, we're going to be installing the rear derailleur. The rear derailleur is attached to the right-hand wheel assembly. You'll need to cut the zip ties in order to run the cabling and the derailleur. Running the cable up through the bottom in between the frame and tie rod will help keep it out of the way. And there should be clips on the frame that will keep the cable from wiggling around and rubbing the frame. Using a five millimeter hex head wrench, install the rear derailleur on the rear derailleur hanger. Now we're going to install the rear wheel. You'll need to use the quick release we looked at earlier. First, unthread the end of the quick release, then remove one of the springs. Next, starting from the brake side of the wheel, send the quick release all the way through the hub. Then install the spring with the wider part towards the quick release nut. When installing the rear wheel, make sure that you get the axle all the way up into the dropouts. Then tighten the axle nut and close the quick release lever so that everything is nice and snug. Next, we'll install the seat. You should have four plastic shims, two threaded plates, two unthreaded plates, and four M5 bolts. First, put the seat on the frame and install the lower seat stays into the upper seat stays. This will help keep the seat in place when you install the lower seat hardware. Use the shorter M6 bolts to secure the seat stays. Next, we're going to install the lower seat hardware. First, install the unthreaded metal plate, and then install a shim over that. Next, you'll put a shim in between the bottom of the seat and the frame of the trike, followed by a threaded metal plate through the seat frame to secure. When tightening the seat bolts, you want to make sure that you tighten them equally and incrementally to make sure that each bolt has enough threads to hold the seat securely in place. Next, we're going to go ahead and install the chain. As the chain comes off of the front crank, you'll want to run the chain into the chain tube that coincides 
with the idler pulley in the middle of the frame. Once you've threaded the chain through all of the power side chain tube, you'll then want to run it through the derailleur. You'll first run the chain over the top of the first jockey wheel, making sure that you run the chain in between the jockey wheel and the chain guard, then across the back side of the lower jockey wheel and forward towards the front of the trike. Next, we're going to run the return side of the chain through the long, unbroken chain tube. Once you've got the chain run through the return side chain tube, you'll use the 8-speed master link provided to connect the two ends of the chain. Finally, we're going to be installing the pedals. Be sure to grease the threads to ensure that they can be removed if necessary later on. Each pedal is stamped with an R and an L, indicating which side of the trike that each pedal is installed on. One pedal will have a left-hand thread, which will mean that you can stand in front of the trike, hold the spindles and rotate the crank backwards, and the th pedals will thread themselves in. Secure the pedals using your crescent wrench, a 15 millimeter box end wrench, or a pedal wrench. Last but not least, we'll be installing the rear mudguard. Simply wrap the clamp around the top of the seat frame and install the bolt securing the clamp in place. Thank you for watching our KMX assembly video. Please see our other videos regarding tuning and adjustment.